Now to developing news out of Sacramento. Anger over the death of an unarmed black man at the hands of police officers last week, again spilling into the streets of Sacramento. Show me your hands! Gun, gun, gun! New today, the state attorney general's office saying it has launched an investigation into the shooting of 22-year-old Stefan Clark in his grandmother's backyard. ABC 7 News reporter Leslie Brinkley is live at a protest outside the Sacramento County District Attorney's office right now. Leslie? Well, we've just moved moments ago. We were at the district attorney's office. Uh, the crowd demanded she come out. She did not. So they walked two blocks down the street here to Sacramento City Hall. Uh, there are 230 seats inside for a city council meeting that's about to get underway. Thousands of people are expected to converge here. They're upset. There's a lot of raw emotion today. An emotional protest in Sacramento as anger continues to motivate community groups to take to the streets. Today, the California Department of Justice announced they are stepping in to oversee the investigation into the shooting death of Stefan Clark on March 18th in a case that's fast becoming a national crusade about illegal use of force. Clark led police on a pursuit that ended in his grandmother's backyard in South Sacramento. Show me your hands. Gun, gun, gun. Body cam video included an officer yelling gun, then 20 rounds were fired at the 22-year-old. As officers arrived, one said mute, and audio on both body cams went silent. Clark was not armed. He was holding a cell phone. There's a lot of mistrust. Uh, my sense is that if Sacramento can do this thoroughly, as transparently as possible, with some independent eyes over this as well, that perhaps here in Sacramento we can show that we can do this in a way that brings people together. We're here because excessive force was being used. Right. We are here violence. because there was violence on this 22-year-old man. We are here because of that. We are here because of police officers, not because of protesters. Community groups are attending tonight's city council meeting demanding justice now. They say the state taking over the investigation isn't enough. Black Lives Matter wants accountability. We need to see change, and that looks like the community. This is a look at the shirts that they're handing out here in front of Sacramento City Hall. They're free to everybody coming. There are thousands expected. Room inside for only maybe a couple hundred people. The city council's cleared their schedule, and they expect a lot of heated debate tonight over accountability and justice. Reporting live in Sacramento, I'm Leslie Brinkley, ABC 7 News.